Hello everyone. Welcome to Python Guides. My name is Vineet and today we will learn how to create a sign up and login form using Python Tickenter. So before we get started, let me show you the application. So this is the application that we are going to build. So on the left side, we have a login panel and on the right side, we have a sign up panel or a registration panel. So let's test this. So this record is not stored in the database. So let me just copy the password. Now, if I try to log in, it says invalid username or password. That means the information, this message is displayed if the information is not stored in the database or credentials are incorrect. So let me go ahead and quickly register this user. So I, we already have a use email ID and we have the password. And now if I just, I just need to enter the name and uh, like we have added the validations in this form. If I just, if I don't select any of the field, it will throw an error. So if I will try to register over here, it will say contact can't be empty. So we have to provide some contact. So this is a random number that I have provided. And let's say he's male and he's from Canada. So now uh, one more validation that I want to show you in case this uh, enter password and re-enter re password didn't match. In that case also you it will throw an error. So let me add one more character into it. So password didn't match. So click OK. And I just remove that and register record saved. Now if I just go on, uh, go, if I just go ahead and log in once again, so it will say logged in successful. Now, speaking of the database, let me uh, show you how, uh, how, how the database has been stored. So this is the software that we are using. It, its name is DB browser for SQLite. And let me quickly go ahead and connect to my uh, database file. So this is the, uh, my database file. It ends with a dot DB. And if I just click on browse data, you can see that the information has been entered over here. So let's get started with the code. I already have a code with me. I will be explaining you uh, the uh, functionality of this uh, program. So first thing first, we have to import uh, everything from take enter. Then we have to import message box so that we can just uh, uh, display the messages. And then we have to uh, import the SQLite 3 so that we can just create a database and connect with the SQLite 3. Uh, the best thing about the SQLite 3 is it comes, it uh, comes pre-installed with the Python. So you don't have to install it externally. And then uh, this is the global font that we have declared here so that we just need to type F. And then uh, in creation, in the creation of database, first thing is to create, to uh, like create a database. So the command is con is equal to sqlite3.connect. And then the name of a file that you want to provide to the database with the extension db. So in this case, I have provided user data.db. So uh, every time that when I will, if the, if the file is missing from here, if I will run the program, it will create it automatically. Now, Curl.execute is used to create a, uh, create a table. And this command says create if not exist. So if the table is already there, uh, it will not create it. And then the, uh, then the rules that we are using are uh, name, email, contact, gender, country, and password. And all are, uh, all are in text except the contact number. The commit command, uh, writes the changes like in this software we have this command over here write changes if i will make any uh, alteration let me so if i will make any changes i just need to click on write changes and then the changes will take place so now you can see this button is active active i can click on write changes so the same thing is done by the con dot commit now uh, we are starting our tkinter application WS is the main window and we are initializing TK. This is the title of the window. 
and uh, this is the geometry that uh, height and width this is the uh, background color now if we scroll down then we will see how we, how i have created this interface i have divided the entire application into two segments one is the left frame and another one is a right frame so uh, see frame frames are used to organize the widgets like we can paste other widgets on them and it gives a control like if i have to move the all the widgets of the right frame then i can just simply move a uh, right frame and it will move all the widgets now uh, all of this code is mentioned uh, like provided in with this video so you don't have to worry about the code and let's move to the function so the first fun first function that we have created over here is insert record so whenever the whenever the user will click on the button like after after providing information whenever he will click on a uh, register button then this function will be activated so what it will does first of all uh, check counter is zero and warning is zero we have set it to the empty string now it will check if register dot get that means the information mentioned over here if uh, it is empty if register dot get equals to equals to empty then it will uh, return this message warning message that is name can't be empty otherwise it will add 1.1 1 .1, uh, to this counter check counter now we will be doing the same thing with all the uh, entry boxes like in this case we have we are doing with the email register email dot get if it is empty then show the message which says email can't be empty and if if it is okay then just uh, add one point to the counter increment the counter and uh, we have done same thing with uh, everyone let me show you for this one uh, for the radio button so re for radio button we have uh, used this where dot get so what is where dot get where dot get is a string where that we have used uh, for the radio button let me quickly search radio it should be in the right and yes so here you can see the variable is assigned to a where where is a string where so that means all the inputs uh, that we are going to take are going to be string if it would it were it would if it would have been int where then all the in, uh, value should be in uh, integer so you can see value is in a string format otherwise if it was uh, it would have been integer then the value would have been one two three like integer yeah here we have uh, just uh, declared the where and we have set the uh, where default value to mail so every time when i am running the application you can see mail is already selected so in case user have not provided any input mail will be uh, taken as a default input now after uh, after i have uh, like after we have checked everything and we have displayed the message we have we are checking these two boxes now if these two boxes match with each other or not so you can see register underscore pwd dot get this is the name of uh, this text this entry box uh, which says enter password it is being confirmed with the password again dot get which is the second uh, entry box so if it matches then uh, one more uh, increment will be made in the check counter and if we will count all these all of these one two three four five six seven and these are the seven for the entry boxes including the selection uh, selection widgets and the uh, eighth one is the whether these are uh, whether enter password and re-enter password are uh, matching with each other or not so eight so we are checking if check counter is equals to equals to eight then then only insertion command will be activated or applied so what we are doing inside the insertion first of all we are connecting to our database then we are just creating con.cursor 
and then we are executing and while we are executing uh, there are three methods of uh, like uh, inserting the data uh, but the best method that we find is the dictionary method so we are using dictionary method over here wherein you can see uh, we have we are providing the key and the value key and the value and in the end we are just uh, doing con on commit that means it will write the changes and a confirmation box which says which says record saved in case if there is a some problem an exception will occur with the and it will tell you the what is the problem ep, EP means the problem and if it is not eight if it is less than eight or uh, there is no chance of getting greater than eight but if it is less than eight then you will be seeing a message and uh, the title of the message box will be error and the one one will be the message that we have mentioned over here so whichever uh, whichever text field uh, whichever text field having a problem uh, respective uh, message will be displayed accordingly now we uh, with this we have completed this insert box that means we have completed the registration part now let's go ahead and check uh, the code for login section so for login we have a function with the name login response so what does this does first of all uh, same thing we have to connect with the database we have to create condon cursor now for row in uh, c dot execute see there is one more method of doing that 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 is uh, very simple but uh, that is more prone to uh, sql injections so if you will be doing in this way then uh, there are very less ch chances of sql injection so this was mentioned on the uh, official website of sqlite so what we are doing we are just setting over here uh, we have so for row in c dot execute select asterisk from record so each row that is coming we are providing one like we are setting username to one and password to five actually what is happening over here uh, the reason is if you will see in the database this is zero name is at zero email is at one index number if you will check name is at zero email is at one then two three and password is at five so what we are doing we are uh, just fetching the information and whatever the value is on the row one index one uh, that will be stored over here and that will that value is definitely going to be a username uh, that means email and whatever the value is will be on the index number five is going to be a password so this is what we can uh, see from our database so we have stored in it in this way now what we have done we have just fetched the information from our entry boxes entry boxes and that too from email dot text field that means from this one and password underscore text field that means it from this one now again we have run uh, check counter is equal to zero same thing that we have done over here we are doing over here we are checking if the user has not provided any information then uh, error message should be as shown over there so if username is equal to equals to empty warn them if it is okay then just increment the value of check counter and do the same thing with the password now if check counter equals to equals to two that means we only have a two uh, two entry boxes so it's like if checkbox equals to equals to two then perform the operation that is username if username equals to equals to the username actual the this username is the one that we have fetched from the user uh, one that the user has been has provided and this username is the one that we have fetched from the database so if they both are equal and instead of using or we are using and so that both the conditions should be uh, uh, should should verify so similarly we are comparing this with the, this with this now if the condition is satisfied then it will show a message box which says logged in successful 
otherwise it will say invalid username or password and in case uh, uh, like something some uh, if in case if the user has not provided any of the text field like if he has not provided the password or the username he will see a message which says password can't be empty or username can't be empty so this was all about this uh, application tutorial in case if you like this uh, tutorial please hit the like button and please do subscribe our channel for the for more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day